Although Hive's two main LFOs are ostensibly hardwired to the filters, they can of course also be assigned to modulate pretty much anything you like. We discussed making those assignments in the previous video, so now let's look at the LFOs themselves. Here we have LFO1 modulating the cutoff of filter1. The wave menu presents a choice of eight oscillator waveforms. Sine, triangle and the two saws, up and down, are the conventional shapes you know and love. Square high low and low higher square waves, the first starting in the up position, the second starting down. And rand hold and rand glide output random stepped and interpolated values respectively. The plus button next to the wave field switches the LFO's normally bipolar output, i.e. negative and positive, to unipolar, i.e. positive only, raising the center point from zero to halfway between zero and the top of the LFO's range. With our filter cutoff set to the center point, you can hear how in bipolar mode the LFO sweeps it up and down through its full range centering on the cutoff knob position, while in unipolar mode the LFO sweeps between the knob position and fully open. The speed of the LFO is controlled by the time base menu and rate knob. The time base menu lets you lock the cycle speed at 0 0.1, 1 or 10 seconds. sync it to host tempo at one of a range of note values from a 64th note to 8 bars. Sync setting can then be offset by the rate knob for unsynced oscillation. The phase knob establishes where in its waveform the LFO starts, as visualized in the graphical display. Note that to start the sine or triangle at the top of its wave, phase should be set to 25, not 50. Per note LFO triggering behavior is defined in the restart menu. Sync prevents the LFO from restarting its cycle with each new note for continuous modulation no matter what's played. Gate restarts the LFO at the set phase with each new note played.
single is a cross between sync and gate that has the LFO re-triggering only when all held notes are released and a new note is played. And random randomizes the phase with each note played, regardless of the phase setting. Once again, complete LFO setups can be saved as section presets via the downward triangle button.